Good morning, this is Homestead Norental. Um, we just made a uh, one skillet wonder breakfast of uh, eggs, steak, onions and peppers all mixed together, um, uh, all fried up. And as you can see, the eggs are a little bit crispy on the inside of that pan. Now, I'm assuming that's what most people's pans look like. Um, whenever I'm at somebody's house and they've got cast iron, I usually end up cooking. Um, it's just how things happen. Um, so, I'm just assuming that's what most people's pans look like. Um, so, I'm going to show you how I clean this out. Now, you could try and scrape that all out. And since the pan's still hot, you'll get most of it out just doing that. Well, I get a lot of people commenting and go, well, I put a little bit of water in it, and then I try and get rid of it, but am I doing this right? Well, I'm going to show you. I've got a little bit of water here in this teacup. We're going to put a little bit in. Put the whole thing in. It's about six ounces of water. And now what you're going to do, you're going to scrape all of that as best you can. <clears throat> and you actually want that pretty hot. You want that water to start boiling out of it. And what we're doing is we're just scraping all of that out. And I'm sure someone's screaming at their computer right now. Tim, you're not getting those sides. You're not getting those corners. Let me show you a tip. It's called a spoon. <laughs> I think most. And what you can do is you can just go right around this edge here, just like this, edge of that spoon. I look at it. And you're getting it all out. And you want that to steam just the way it is, because that is cooking that out as best as it can. Now I'm going to have people saying, oh my gosh, he's putting water in a cast iron pan. He's crazy. Nope. I'm just showing you the way that I've done it and the way that I've seen it done and uh, the way my grandmother did it. So that's about as clean as I'm going to get it, just like that. I'm going to turn that heat back down. I'm going to dump this just putting this in a little bit left right here and as you can see there's still just a little bit right here I'm gonna pull that out as you can tell there's no more water in that pan and I've left the heat on so that all that water would actually cook itself off now I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel wipe the whole thing out on the inside scrape that a little bit more probably and then we're going to put our lard in there, season that pan back up. And I'll just scrape the rest of that out. Now, if you remember from last time, we're just seasoning this back up. What you want to do is put a decent coating, clean piece of uh, paper towel, and you're putting just that little bit all over the inside of that pan. Save that piece of paper. Turn that pan up on high, and as soon as it starts to smoke, you're going to turn that pan off. And it is just starting to smoke now. When it goes to a good smoke, you turn that pan off, and the more layers of that uh, pig fat that you can put in there, it, it's going to help keep that cast iron nice and 
and seasoned and the more seasoning you put in it the more non-stick that pan is going to be. So this is just homestead and rental showing you another way how to keep a pan. When this pan cools I will take this paper towel and I will rub it one more time and then rub the outside of the pan also and then I'll hang that pan back up on the wall. That way it still has a little bit of extra grease on the inside of it and on the outside.